Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. So it's Wednesday morning in Colorado. Got down to, I don't know what it got down to, but when I woke up this morning, it was only 31. There's frost all over everything. So we're going to do some riding today. We'll get some uh, trail video. Maybe we'll see a moose or something. We'll see what happens. So let's get started. Jetson decided to come uh, do some trail riding, I guess, today. So Madison and I went to this mill yesterday. Got a good video of the Mayflower Gold Mill. You have to check it out. Make sure you don't miss that one. Really good video. And then we went up to the, uh, the old 100 mine, which is up here. I'll take a video when we pass it. Make sure you check those video, videos out also. Those will be on my Dirt Green and Steel channel. This video might end up on Dirt Green and Steel off-road or after hours, whatever I decide to name it. So just watch for it. out through here. We have seen some semis back on these roads. But they're usually Peterbilt's or Kenworth's and they're pretty heavy built trucks. They're not just you know your Volvo's and Freightliners you see on the road that are delivery trucks. They're like heavy built, heavy spec low boy trucks.
old mill house.
puddles is you get a little bit of steam up through the seat and it warms you up. It's really not too bad up here though. Temperature. It's probably in the 40s now. Pacific and Atlantic Continental Divide. And that is the divide where the water runs each way of the country, if you're not familiar with it. So from that divide, the water runs either from to the Atlantic or the Pacific Ocean. Kind of interesting.
so far we've checked several places for gold and haven't found anything. So we're going to keep checking. We're going to the Rio Grande Reserve it looks like. Whatever that is. Oh boy. Rocks the size of a hall closet.
a good sized beaver hut. So the beavers out here are not like the beavers back home. The beavers back home dig dens into the, the ditch banks and stuff, river banks, and that's where they live. These beavers out here really can't do that because of all the rocks. So they make a lodge and they go in the lodge and live. And they're actually a different, different breed of beaver than what beavers we have at home. is not for the faint of heart. I was too scared to video on the way up because that was some serious stuff. Pioneer's running a little hot. We're gonna have to let it sit and cool down for a little bit before we go back down. Let's get out and check it out. This place is crazy. We are way up in the mountains here. We'll see if there's anything cool laying around. Looks like some old electric motor parts. that was getting up here. There's snow up here. This was a tramway system too. Crazy that wall's pushing in. Let's go down in here. It's kind of crazy some of the fasteners they use to hold stuff together. Wow. That used to move.
Some sort of brake? Yeah, with a wooden brake band. Amazing, you got all this up here. <laughs> Little railroad track. He used to bring the ore in, dump it up there, and then he must have took it down in the buckets, down the tramway. Found some more artifacts down in here. Just don't know how they got all this heavy stuff up here. There's an old pump over there. Alright, I think it's time to go back down to Silverton and get a funnel cake. We've been riding all day. I think we've had a good day. Just amazing. How they ever got power up here, too. You know what? I'm going to go down this way. Looks like it might be a little easier. Alright. Hopefully the side by side's cooled off by now. It was getting a little warm. Let's see what other artifacts we have over here. one of them boilers like I wrestled with with the 220 Hyundai to get it out of the basement of well, the building we tore down in our hometown this one's not nearly as big now as many sections all right let's get out of here pretty cool place but I like my lower altitude mining I don't lose my breath so much got to be hard to grade a road with it's got when it's got big rocks in it well today's trip is finally over we are back at the campground we're across the animus river here and get back in the campground and then it's time to go get some funnel cakes